today. I'm just taking a little detour on my way home to visit the Finley Wildlife Refuge. I don't really have the time to take a long hike. I've just done three miles with my younger children and um, I'm just stopping off here to enjoy the misty air and the sprinkling and the beautiful ponds and I'm just going to take you on a little walk in into the woods a little bit. Just enough to do a little video, take you out in the woods a little bit and share this special place with you. This is the beginning of the Mill Pond Trail and it's very gentle and just looks like we're just walking on the edge of a pasture or a farm. It's very sweet. I have to be honest that I usually hike here with a friend, two different friends who are um, some of my closest friends and they are so good at navigating this trail system. I'm having to like rely on myself. I realize I can trust myself and I do know the way through here, but it's kind of fun when I'm with them. I don't have to think about it and they navigate my way through here. Look at the brilliance of these green leaves. They're so bright. It's really cheerful in this quiet gray wood. I love the brilliance of those green leaves. Today I'm, I'm feeling more on the quiet side. I have some kind of heavy stuff going on in my life and my family. And, you know, doing a lot of self-soothing and, you know, quiet meditation and reflecting. And sometimes it's helpful to you know, just think about how I'm handling these things differently than I have in the past and and see my growth and also, you know, those edges of, you know, you just never know what the right thing is to do and there's always something new to face and, face and a new zone of discomfort to expand into and it helps me so much to have these woods and these places to come for just some quiet reflection, deep breathing of some fresh air, and just a little bit of quality alone time in between those moments of having to be brave and strong and vulnerable and loving through the hard stuff. This is the trail where I'm walking and it has these gorgeous oak trees covered in moss. Everything in Oregon has moss and lichen on it. <sighs> they look enchanted. There's some more of those awesome oak trees. Look at them against the sky. They look so wise. So peaceful. At this point in the walk, I've walked pretty quickly. It's been kind of up and down. There have been some spots that have been really muddy. And I'm just looking up at all these big oak trees and I'm starting to feel a sense of awe and amazement and comfort and just gratitude, you know, that they're here and I can be with them in these small moments. They're here for me and all of the sadness and grief and concern 
that I have right now for my kids and just their paths and what they're facing in life is like, okay, we can handle it, you know? For some reason, these trees have my back. Here we are again at the beginning of the trail next to this beautiful pond. Hopefully you've been able to just get a little glimpse of this beautiful rainy northwestern day and all the water you get from this rain. The beautiful oak trees in the Willamette Valley and I don't know, maybe some of the sense of peace that just spending a little bit of time in a place like this can bring. I definitely feel privileged and blessed to live here.